Thanks for sticking with me. We got through that bit together, DC. Making it work. A little more about me. I was actually, I was raised very religious. I went to a Christian high school growing up. Anybody else go like a Christian Catholic high school? Out drinking Sunday night, awesome. I can see it stuck. This was water when they gave it to me. That's the first miracle joke. Thanks for getting it, yeah. Water in the wine, bam, right there. I always dug it. Here was my main thing though, growing up. I always wanted to be an actor. So every single year, I was the lead in my church play. Some of you know this though. If you're in a play in a church, it's not really a play. It's just like a thinly veiled attempt to convert the audience to Christianity. I just want to do it for everybody. This is a scene from every play I was in growing up. Just a little one act. It's just like this. Just, hi Billy, I like your shoes. By the way, would you like to accept Jesus today? <laughs> uh, no thanks, not today, but hey, maybe tomorrow. I've got plenty of time. Beep, beep, meow. Oh no, Billy was just hit by a truck and killed. <laughs> He's in hell now. It's too late for him to accept Jesus. But it's not too late for you! That was the whole thing. Just 45 minutes straight of the grisly slaying of unbelievers. It was horrifying. I always said, I'll play the truck house in six hours. There's the after party. Yeah. They'll be picking me up off the floor. Let's do this. I feel like we're bonding now. I want to try to find my fellow dorks in the crowd. Though I have Call of Duty players mingled among you, Call of Duty players. Three, that's enough, I'm committed, let's do this. <laughs> Call of Duty, for those of you that have friends or sex or whatever, it's, I'm not knocking you, I'm right there with you. <laughs> it's this game where you go online and have war with people, it's awesome, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Here's my problem though, I'm a full-time comedian, so I'm poor. I always have to get a used copy of the game three months after everyone else already has it. And the way these games are set up, that screws you over. Because the longer you play, the more stuff you get. You get more guns, you get more ammo, your guy gets tougher. I get the game late, so I just get my ass kicked every time. I can't compete. I plug in my used copy all excited, like, yeah, Call of Duty, let's do this. Some jerk who's had it for three months flies by wearing Iron Man's armor. <laughs> I look down, I'm a hobbit holding a musket, just... <laughs> this is bullshit! <laughs> it's awful! And the range on the snipers is not fair. They can shoot you from way too far away. The second I turn on my Xbox, I'm hit by a sniper. I'm done. <laughs> it's over, immediately. They always show you the kill cam, show you how far away that jerk was when he got you. I check the kill cam, I'm getting shot by people playing different games. <laughs> Turn on Mario, there's some dick behind a turtle shell. Just got him. How did you do that? Thank you guys so much. My name is Jimmy Mary. I'm going to open it in.